Today is Sunday. And a thought occurred to me. Making a living. So life has ex <clears throat> life has expenses. <clears throat> and in order to in order to um, in order to pay for that uh, expense, I have to have funds that comes in. Self-sufficiency in this modern age is difficult to do. So now I am a day trader, primarily a, uh, primarily a day trader. That is the future that I have. There is no other future. Uh, the reason that the day trading is my future is I'm getting older. My body is getting older. Sometimes my body uh, is and mind will not be able to keep up with uh, the progress of life. And what the life demands of me, I will not be able to provide. I know that I know that my future, uh, anything outside of my pursuits as a day trader will be uh, difficult to uh, perpetuate. I know this. So now I have to um, make a living. When I was an engineer, the substantial benefit from being an engineer made it easier for me to uh, become acclimated to the lifestyles. Now that I'm not, I'm faced with the, I'm faced with uh, the, the um, awesome challenge, the awesome challenge of replacing that revenue stream. In order for me to replace that revenue stream, I have to be extremely good at what I do as a day trader. That means that I have to be consistent. Now, I get paid every two weeks right now as a dishwasher. Uh, in day trading, I know, that, I know that certain days, even professional day traders, certain days professional day traders lose but they just lose a little bit. And on those days when these professional day traders make money, they make uh, big money. So on a periodic basis, I have to be consistent in making money. That is the goal. Such that when the monthly rent comes in, that I will be able to pay for, then, uh, I, then I'll have enough money to uh, acquire, acquire clothes. I'll have a sufficient amount of uh, funds to pay for the, uh, the, the gas. And I will have sufficient amount of income to pay for the debt that I have incurred. After that fact, I will have enough to purchase insurance, health insurance. Now, health insurance, I just looked into. Um, it does not look like it's going to be a cheap thing to do. Uh, it may be a substantial amount of money to have health insurance. Uh, for the past one week, I've been under the weather because of food poisoning. And uh, my kidney is acting up. And uh, I can see that based on the symptoms that I've, I've seen and based on the research that I've done on YouTube. Um, I still worked. It was an incredible, immense amount of pain. <laughs> so this is a, uh, I have to make a living. I have to make a living as a day trader. Now, having all those things, uh, rent, food, clothes, gas, uh, restitution, and then savings, okay? And then I have supervised supervised probation which i have to pay every six months every 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 month uh, every month for the next 
eight years. And then I have other expenses that I need to pay, which means that in order for me to make a living as a day trader, the amount of income that needs to be generated from being uh, as a day trader has to be substantial. Having that capability is going to essentially making a living as a day trader means that I have to be able to essentially be as good as some of these people are. I mean, I'm, I'm, I've seen uh, Twitter, Twitter feeds where they're making a substantial amount of money. So with that kind of money that they make, uh, upwards of some of these individuals are, are way up there. If we're talking about uh, some, and, and one of the individuals, um, and most of the individuals who are professionals, who do not discuss a certain amount in large quantities, even if an individual who makes, um, who makes, uh, who makes maybe, which is, which is, I, I find that incredibly difficult to do, making $500 a day, $500 a day uh, consistently. And if there's a, a down day within one week, that would be approximately equate to about $1,500 a, 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 a uh, a week because four wins and one loss which means essentially it'll equate to uh, a, approximately about fifteen hundred dollars a week fifteen hundred dollars a week multiply that approximately about four times that's about six thousand dollars in cash so even with six with even with even with six thousand uh, dollars a month that's approximately about seventy two thousand so with taxes we're talking about uh, approximately about uh, roughly about forty-five thousand dollars of usable cash. We're talking about on days with a consistency of five hundred dollars a day, with one down day that's negating one day. So out of those five trading days, so essentially three days with five hundred dollars gains, that would be about fifteen hundred dollars a week. So taking into that consideration. Uh, having about $45,000 a year just after taxes and, and being able to pay for something, um, $500 a gain is not enough. So in order to make a living as a, as a day trader, a substantial amount of money must be made in, on each day. So granted that there will be one day that's lost, one day that's lost, which was negated, so which means it's about three thousand dollars. So we're talking about one thousand dollars a day, one 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 thousand consistently for for. So that means that three thousand dollars times uh, <clears throat> four. That's over a, a, uh, approximately about twelve thousand dollars a month. That's approximately one hundred forty-four thousand dollars a year. That means after taxes, approximately uh, uh, one hundred thousand dollars is available to to do something with. And based on that calculation, the, 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 because I'm a day trader, I have to pay for my own insurance, which is substantially higher because the employer usually has tax deduction purposes that allows them to, to <clears throat> uh, buy the insurance on a partial basis for the employees, which costs them less because it's being paid um, before taxes. Now, for an individual like me who's a business owner, um, as a day trader, that comes out of my pocket. Which means with insurance, and I'm not paying any Social Security at all at this, point, at, stage, at this stage, I'm relying on the savings for me to use that savings to, to use when I'm older. So, as a business owner and making a living, there's a, there's, there are things that I need to consider. So... This initial thought of, of uh, being a day trader is not something to be, it's not an easy matter, okay? It's not an easy matter. It's, you literally have to make about $1,000 a day, at least, in order to make this viable, you have to make at least $1,000 a day. If, if I'm relying on this as a sole income uh, that provides me with the competitive 
nature of what uh, normal human beings go through, like insurance. Health insurance is a big issue. I've, I found this out for the past one week, suffering from this. Um, wow. So, so essentially, 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 in order to be sufficient, in order to be sufficient, in order to be sufficiently compensated in this day and age, with inflation running uh, rampant, I have to literally make about a thousand dollars a day in order to survive sufficiently. Other people can live in other other lifestyles, but it seems to me that being successful means being able to be consistent means that I have to make about a thousand dollars a day making a living as a day trader. That's that's essentially how it's boiling down to. Yeah.